Hi everybody, I'm Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and with me as always is... Tiffany, also Grand Tiff Tarkin. And uh, we just wanted to do a little video. Um, it's taken a couple of days... For it to sink in. For it to sink in and uh, to process. Uh, and that is, unfortunately, we have lost someone very special to someone us. Someone who is royalty. Yeah, uh, someone who I know meant a lot to my childhood. Yes. And uh, and that is, of course, Carrie Fisher. Uh, and uh, she's going to be greatly missed. Yes. And uh, we are very sorry to hear of her passing and then, of course, of her mother, Debbie Reynolds. Yes. And uh, so we're not going to do any big, um, any big thing about this, but uh, it is a moment just for us to share our feelings on the subject. And uh, hopefully you can share your comments down in the comments section. How you're feeling and what you're struggling with or what your favorite memories of Carrie Fisher or Debbie Reynolds were. Yeah, we'd love to hear that down in the comments section. So Tiffany, uh, just tell us a little bit about how you feel about the situation with Carrie and, and uh, kind of what she meant to you. Um, the thing that, that really hit me was the fact that the when she had the heart attack and they had to get her from London to California. It was, it was on Christmas Eve. So it was one of those things that you're thinking, okay, we're trying to get through the holidays. Oh, they got her down. She's, you know, she's in a hospital. She's doing okay. And according to them on Sunday, they said she was expected to get a full recovery. So when she did pass away on Tuesday, it was very sad and a little unexpected when we thought she was on the upswing. Um, it was one thing that just we didn't expect. We just kept thinking and praying that she would pull through and that we'd still have her for many more years, considering that she is only 60 years old. Yeah. So, so um, I, I will say Carrie, along with Margot Kidder, uh, who played Lois Lane, were my two childhood crushes. Uh, of course, Carrie is Princess uh, Leia. And... Um, I got to meet Margot Kidder a couple of years ago, and I had really hoped that With one day... With this new Star Wars franchise starting up, we'd have a chance during Comic-Con. I had really hoped that I would get to meet uh, Carrie as well, uh, because as she, as Tiffany mentioned, uh, when I got to meet Carrie, or when I got to meet uh, Margot, it was like that little kid came out of me again. It was like a 10-year-old boy. Yeah, and uh, so, you know, it... it um, you don't realize, I mean, I know they're celebrities. We, we don't, know we don't know them personally, but they're a part of our lives because we watch them on movies, TV shows. She's even the voice on Family Guy for Peter's boss. Yeah, she's, you know, I mean, Carrie did so many uh, things in her career. And she, you know, she fought many uh, struggles and battles. And I guess for me, it reminds me of that because my mother has had problems with drugs and alcohol and, and uh, various mental issues. And I lost my mother this year. And um, in many ways, there are many ways that I can see my mother a little in bit. pictures as she's gotten older. Yeah, be, be, you know, with both Margot and with Carrie. And just yes. some of the, when they Same were struggles. when they were at their lowest and some of their, their things that they struggled with. And um, she was even estranged from her mom, who she was so close with at the end, just yeah, from going so, through her struggles. And so it... Um, you know, like I said, I know we don't know them personally. We didn't know Carrie personally, but uh, somebody, you know, I've spent many hours watching her in various movies and, and TV and uh, somebody that I introduced my kids to, yes. you know, uh, my kids love Star Wars. I think it was just like when you told Leah Thompson when we met her that even though we haven't met you, you have become a part of our family. Your movies are a staple in our family. Yeah. Our kids have seen you through this. They will continue to show their kids and their grandkids. And I feel the same is true with, with uh, Carrie Fisher as well. I am, I am just so happy that she was able to uh, come back and be in, yes. in Episode 7. And uh, she had finished her work on Episode 8. Um, and I know that some people don't want to really talk about this right now. But... <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it does bring up a lot of questions as to what Episodes 8 and 9 look like. They've got about a year before Episode 8 comes out. You know, we know we lost Han, and, you know, and that's a fictional character. 
that we were, you know, attached to, but this is a real person. Yes. So, you know, if, if, if they she, weren't going that way, now they have to. Are they going to have to do reshoots or are they going to have to change it up? You know, it'll be interesting. I just hope that whatever happens with episode eight, whatever the story of episode eight is, that it does give her a proper send off. Yes. Whatever the story that we can is, have I mean, closure as Leia and as yeah, Carrie. movies are movies, and I know a lot of people don't yeah. want to talk about those kind of things, you know, about the stories, you know, of these movies and whatnot. But that's those are the things that made us fall in love with her. Yes. Those are the things that made us want to invite her into our homes and into our hearts. And so I hope that with Episode Eight being her last movie, yes. that it is in some way a, a, a grand send off for her, and that they're able that if the character wasn't to to you know pass in episode eight that it will be written well yes you know um and that it will it, it'll it'll have um the right kind of impact uh for the story moving forward so um but so we could just go on and on and on and uh it's not it's not to be a bummer you know uh but uh it's to praise what she's done in her life yeah. and also that we have, we are saying many prayers for Carrie Fisher's brother and Carrie's daughter as well that are mourning the loss of both herself and their grandmother in Debbie Reynolds. Yeah, so, hey, you out there, what are your feelings and thoughts right now of uh, Carrie Fisher passing and even her mother, uh, Debbie Reynolds? What are, what are some of your thoughts that that you're feeling right now. Maybe, favorite memories, favorite movies they've been in. May, maybe you did get a chance to meet Carrie at a, at a Comic-Con or a Star Wars celebration or something. She definitely was the type of person. She always spoke her mind. Yes. She got in a little trouble for that every once in a while. Uh, and, but that's okay. And so uh, she will be greatly missed. Uh, and uh, it, she'll definitely be missed in this household. Yes. And uh, and it's it's kind of it's kind of cool because my sister isn't even as big of a Star Wars fan as I am. Uh, it really wasn't for that reason, but she actually just named a little over a year ago, named my, uh, my little niece, Leia. And so, um, so it's a cool testament. So strong with that. It's a cool testament to, uh, Carrie's, uh, work and life that, uh, she leaves a great legacy behind. Yes. So, uh, let us know what you think down in the comment section. And until next time, I'm Enosh, AKA Enosh Fett. And along with me, as always, Tiffany, also Grand Tip Tarkin. We'll see you next time. May the Force be with you. Bye-bye.